San Francisco can be one of the best places to sail in the world, but it can be one of the hardest and the cruelest as well. The current here is its unlike any other place in the world. It, uh, it comes from all different areas of the bay and at all different angles. It's not as simple as the tide comes in, the tide goes out. It's strong wind predominantly, but um, it has a lot of different factors with the fog and uh, the different uh, cloud layouts basically make it a very tricky race course. Every 200 meters you are in a different weather pattern and these boats go so fast so every almost 30 seconds you're sailing in a different configuration so that is very challenging to keep the boat fast. You've got some iconic landmarks of so the bridges, Alcatraz, the fog that rolls in. So it's just a very, very demanding place. You know, it's kind of almost like an Everest for a mountain climber. The other hard part is how small is the race course. It's very hard because you have to keep taking and jiving every two minutes, which makes it very hard for everybody on board. The boats are so extreme and the conditions here in the summer can be Put it mildly, like just gnarly, uh, you know, 25 knots. There's not many sports in the world where 11 people step onto a vessel or do a sport where you're all in it together, and if something goes wrong, it's catastrophic. The riskiest point in this boat is if we were to capsize. It, it's a bit, you know, it's essentially can be a 72 foot fall. We've got the crash helmet. Uh, moving down, we've got the communication system, a combination of an impact vest and a life preserver, bare air. If we do flip the boat over and you get pinned under, you get about 10 to 15 breaths to try and get out from under the boat. We've got a rock climbing harness that we can clip on. If they are, you get thrown, it's, um, it's somewhere between three and four Gs. And then we've got knives, you know, in both pockets. I can only imagine when people go down to watch an America's Cup race and they haven't really got an idea of what's going to happen, it's going to blow their mind.